everyone, welcome to the Captain Drone YouTube channel. My name is Steve and this would be the SG100 Plus 2. So now you're asking exactly what is this item I have before me? Well, let me tell you this. If you keep watching this video, you're going to want to buy it because for the price, it's pretty darn cool. And speaking of cool, let me tell you everything that's cool about this. First off, it has brushless 1503 motors. It has a six axis gyro, so it's not going to go flying around. It's going to stay stable. It does have blinky lights, as you can see, and they can change in all sorts of patterns depending on how you wish to change them. There is a camera on the bottom and it is optical flow so if you fly it indoors it will look at the ground and stay stable. Speaking of cameras it does have a forward camera at 720p and you can electronically move it up and down. In addition the optical flow camera is also a camera and you can switch to that camera if you wish. It runs on a 2s battery and one is included. Your flight time is anywhere from 10 minutes to 15 minutes of flight time. It does come with a transmitter and with that transmitter the range from the transmitter to the drone the max maximum would be about 150 meters. You can fly this indoors and outdoors, you can do flips indoors and outdoors, and for beginners it does have headless mode. But the cool thing about this SG100 Plus 2 is that currently if you buy it using my discount code which is below this video it's only about $52 US. So that's a pretty good deal, you get the transmitter, you get the drone and you can fly it around and put your phone on the transmitter, see where you're flying, look at things, film things. So what I want to show you now is some flight video of me flying this and using all the features. So I'm going to start with indoors. So I flew this indoors in my house and I flew it on the three different speeds for indoors, which are pretty decent. I also tried out the flippy modes, getting it to do flips in the air indoors. And in this video, I also show you how to take off and land. There's different mechanisms to take off, which are pretty cool, as well as land. So check this out! Power on the controller, slap in our battery, lock it in place. The red light is flashing because this is not powered on or connected, so let's turn on the power. There we go, lots of power. The light should be solid red right there, solid red. Now we're ready to fly. Now I'm gonna show you a quick example of the different takeoff mode. So the first takeoff mode is pressing the unlock button. The motors will start and eventually it will go up, except it's gonna go all the way up and hit the ceiling. So as it goes up, you have to pull down on the left joystick to stop it from hitting the ceiling. Watch what I mean. Okay, so we're gonna start and it's gonna go up. Left joystick down, there we go, I stopped it and I can bring it back down. And to land it, just pull all the way down, touches the ground, and it stops. Method number two is my favorite takeoff method because you just pull the joysticks down and in like that, and then move the left joystick to any height you want. So like right there, nice and low, and you can fly it around, do what you want, and then again, bring it on down. That was kind of bouncy landing. Now there is a third method. The third method is the rolling takeoff. In other words, you want it to take off like a plane. You want it to go forward and then you want it to dive up in the air. So this one is the unlock button, except you don't press the unlock button. You press and hold the unlock button. You will have to, again, as it goes up, control with the left joystick so it doesn't hit something. So here we go. We're going to roll along this table and take off. Just hold it down. There she goes, and she's up. <laughs> now I gotta bring it back. So that's a pretty cool takeoff. Let's come on back here. And down, there we are. Now for flying indoors, you have three speeds as shown by this button right here. If you press it once, you'll get one beep. That's speed one, press it again. Two beeps, speed two, press it again. Three beeps, you're in speed three, super fast for indoors. So let's go back to one. And let me show you how fast that is. I have to stand up for this, so we're going to take off. Joystick's in, pick it up. Let's go forward. That's full speed. Full speed on speed one. You can see you could fly it easily around the house, so a small child could fly this in your house, no issue. Or somebody who's very new to using joysticks. All right, so let's come around. Let's go speed two. That was two beeps. Could be faster now. Here we go. It's a little faster, little faster. I wouldn't say it's crazy fast, but it is a little faster. Just dodge everything and come around and again. There we go. And of course you have speed number three, which should get you into a fast walk. Three beeps, here we go. Speed number three, there we go. Now I'm fast walking around the house. I'll just bring it up, come around, get around the house a lot faster. There we go. To land the unit, you can pull down the left joystick or you can hit the unlock lock button. So watch this, I'll put it over our landing area, put it over here, 
and I'll hit the unlock lock button and it goes down. Now on the controller, there is a 360, but it's more designed for outside. So I don't know if it'll work inside, but I'll try it right here. If it does work, this thing should just do a flip. Let's bring it to about this height. Hit the 360. Well, that worked. It did it indoors. I didn't think it would. Try that again. We're going to go to the other angle. There we go. That's not bad that it does it indoors. A lot of times it won't go indoors. So. There we are. So with the flip feature, it can only go side to side. So if I want to go to the right, press this and then turn this to the right. There we go. If I want to flip to the left, press the button and then press this left. There we go. There we go. It does it so fast, I don't know if my camera catches it, but it's pretty cool. And let's break it down for a landing. Now, surprisingly, you can fly this outdoors because it actually has an outdoor flight speed. Certainly, if it's not too windy, you can put it on speed number three for indoors and fly it outdoors. That's probably the best speed if you want to film. But it also has an outdoor flight speed, and I swear it will fly in windy conditions. So uh, check this out. Now I've come outdoors. It is a bit breezy in my backyard, but we're going to try this button. This is the outdoor speed button. So let's try that. Going up. So right now I'm in speed number three for indoors. You can see it's not doing very well in the wind. It's fighting the wind, but it's coming around. And I'm going to put it on outdoor speed. Hit this button here. This is, oh, look at the tilt. Look at the tilt. Oh, look at that. You could really fly this outdoors with a tilt like that. Wow, <laughs> pretty fast. And when you put the brakes on, it just stops. Let's go and land it in my hand. I'll just show you what I mean that it can fly in winds. So it's pretty windy out here. And I'm going to whip it down the street really quick. So aim it down the street. Bring it back so you can see it go. All right, there we go. There we go. Full blast in the wind. Look at it tilt. She goes. Bring it back. Watch out for that tree. <gasps> We're gonna have it doing loops up in the sky. Look at this, going around in circles. Bring it down. There we go. So for $52, you're getting an awful lot. Now, the weak point on this item would obviously be the camera because the camera is not going to be that great for $52. Although it's pretty cool that it is electronic and you can move it electronically using your transmitter. However, since the camera is here and there's no gimbal on it, so when this thing flops around, your image flops around. Second thing is if you want to fly forward, of course, your drone has to tilt like that to go forward. So where do you think the camera's pointing when it does that? Yeah, it's looking at the ground. So don't expect some great Steven Spielberg movies with this thing. Anyways, here's some video showing the camera. Check it out. So what I'm going to do is try out the camera. So power this on, power this little baby on. There we go. So now I've got to connect my phone to this. So I have to look for the Wi-Fi coming out of this, which is the flow one. Connect to that. And then I just need to start the app. Wi-Fi UAV. Click on that one. And then uh, it shows the flow at the top left. That's correct. Hit start. And there we go. I see a picture of the ground. <laughs> and if I lift it up, there's the video looking at the house across the way it really does zoom in oh my god does it ever zoom in okay so i'm not expecting much from this in the way of filming i'll put the record on on the app turn that on i'll just hit the unlock button it's gonna go up let it hover out there spin it around look down the street the wind is a blowing it's looking down the street and i'm gonna bring it back to these i'll try to bring it back slow it's got to go into the wind it can definitely fly in winds definitely fly in winds when you're in outdoor mode. I bet you it's a lot more stable on the camera now. Yeah, I'll look this way down the street. How's that? It's looking down a bit. See the camera, you can make it look all the way down at the ground so I can get under it. I'm looking in the sun here. And let's bring it down. So if you're on indoor speed three, you can fly it in the wind a lot smoother. That's what I'm doing now. Really not sure what you would use that camera for because it's zoomed in way too much. If I go way up to look at my roof, there's my roof. How's that? So if you look here, that's my head because I have the drone sitting over there facing me. And I just want to show you on this app. So I'm going to put the app someplace on the screen. On this app, when you fly this drone, you also have other features that I didn't show in this video. So let me click on the top right. 
There you go. If you look at the top right, if I do the bunny ears, click on that. And if I hold my bunny ears up, it should take a photo. Get my bunny ears in. Jeez. <laughs> I took a photo. There we go. So let's take the bunny ears off. You do have a zoom control while you're flying. You can zoom in. There you go. You can see I have to trim my eyebrows eventually. You can also fly this drone by buying those box goggles off of Amazon. You take your phone, you stick them in the front of the goggles. So you're staring at your phone. Here, I'll show you. It divides up the picture into two for each eye. And you can fly this thing around FPV with those goggles on. And of course, over on the right, you can see you can take a photo manually. There we go. Or I can start video and record video. And on the left, you can see all the videos you've taken already, as well as you can make a music video if I click on the music video thing don't do that it's really bad unless you're a kid and you can do all sorts of weird things look at me I'm in a dream sequence <laughs> and then you could do music I'm not gonna do that you can add music to it I'll get banned I could put this and change how things look on the screen anyways so enough of that let's hop out of that so it is pretty impressive for $52 you get your money's worth that's for sure so the next thing I want to show you is what comes in the box if you buy this so check this out this is the box the SG100 comes in inside the box you'll find the SG100 the transmitter and accessories one feature I forgot to point out is that this drone actually has wheels the drone is constructed of foam and plastic, so no worries of damaging the drone, yourself, or any objects in your house. The only item that requires assembly is attaching the two stabilizer fins. A two cell battery and USB charging cable are provided. The battery snaps into the bottom of the drone. A spare set of props are also provided, as well as a microphillips screwdriver and additional screws. Two manuals are included, one for the aircraft and one for the app. A transmitter is included, but it will require three AA batteries, which are not included. The top of the transmitter flips out to hold your cell phone. And finally, the weight of the drone with a full battery is only 184 grams. All right, so you're back to me. The last thing I want to say is if you fly this in your area at night, your neighbors are going to complain of a UFO in the vicinity. So you might want to be cognizant of that. Anyways, the links to this product are below. You have to use my discount code to get the super $52 deal. You can get this with one battery or two batteries. Obviously, if you get it with two batteries, it's going to cost you more. But for what you get, it's pretty decent, especially since it's very hard to destroy this. You can bang into so many things in your house. It's, it's made out of foam. It's not going to destroy the walls or this plane. So great for young people and old people. All right, guys, if you have questions on this product, post them below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and I'll catch you in a future video with many more cool product reviews. Until then, I say bye.